So right here I've got a badly vibrating motor. That is not good. So I just unplugged it right here at the at the outlet up here. You probably can't see a thing. But anyway, the plug just goes into the outlet right here. So I unplugged it, and we're gonna take off the access panel service door. And then up top here, got two screws, one on each side that hold the, the top service door on. Now that we've got those two screws out, that'll let us remove the whole panel here. Now we can look at our blower wheel. Let's see what's rubbing here. Something in there. Probably gonna have to pull the blower wheel out. Take a look at it here. So right here on the motor for the blower, I'm gonna be sliding the whole blower assembly out. Remove the two screws up here. I'm gonna have to cut the three wires to the motor here. But first, pulled the little black cover cap off the capacitor, the little capacitor, and then bridged the leads with my insulated screwdriver handle discharge it like so and then now I can cut the the black the red and the in the white so here goes that we'll come back with some wire strippers and strip these off nicely So now I'm just going to slide the whole assembly out. Carry it elsewhere where I can work on it. Whew. So I've got a bad squirrel cage here motor and the motor may be bad too in order to get it out I had to cut the wiring you can see it's pretty darn dirty it actually just looks like the 
the little cage is bent. So I'm going to pull it apart, check it out, and get it going. Okay, got my new blower cage. Maybe change it out today. Nice, brand new. And I'm going to be taking out the old one. So I got some spray lubricant for the post. Which is right here. I'm going to kind of clean this off as much as I can. And the crescent wrench. And let's loosen the bolt up here. Sometimes it can be useful to kind of mark where your your deal is mounted at. If your blower wheel is the same size. Clean all that up. Take my sharpie. And just mark the post that way. The other way is we can just look where the nut is set. Line it up. And then I'm just gonna spray some, take this all the way out. Spray some lubricant on the post and down in that hole there. So hopefully make it easier to take it out. I got a three eighth inch socket. Loosen these all the way up. Oh, that was really loose. Those. And what I did inside the unit was unplug the air handler and then taking the insulated portion of my screwdriver just bridge across the capacitor and then I just cut the wire here and I'll when I put it back I'll strip these off and wire connect them back together for the inner portion okay now and this is going to give us a good chance to clean this all up Does look like a new motor. I'll probably take my blower and blast all that out afterwards, but now the fun part is separating the wheel from the motor. Oh yeah, got lucky. Uh, the other thing was there's a ground wire and the disconnect, but we don't really need to worry about that. I'm able to go up top here. We'll need to take this screw.
screws out here that hold the top channel on. Access to the power portion. Looks like there's two more screws set in there. Okay, now we'll be able to take the spill cage right out of the box. Here it is. Yeah, that was definitely bad. <laughs> now checking the motor. It turns turns beautifully. So we're not gonna have a problem there. Looks like a new motor. Okay. That looks like one of my little locking deals came out here. So these just push through. Okay, you can see it. There. Just pushes on from the outside. Theory. Like so. The bolt goes in there, it grabs. So make sure we don't lose those. Okay, now I want to empty all this out, make sure there's no more debris left in here. So just gotta lift. Cage in. Okay, so I'm loosening the bolt here, pass it down here. Set the motor shaft where we need it to go. Okay. And we're going to slide the motor in place. Right through so that the bolt goes onto that flat end of the shaft. There we go. Now I'm going to tip it. For now. So that we can reinsert our bolts. Make sure we've got our washers.
And if we had needed to replace the motor, it would have been an easy time to do it. It's just got a, a, a clamp set up that clamps around the motor. And right here that holds these feet in. Slide in a little bit of Justin and Mark in to get it just right. But anyway. Now is going to be setting our swirl pitch for its best position. We want to make sure that the deal here is okay. So push it on, and just going to balance it pretty much right in the center. So it's balanced right in the center and give it a good spin and make sure everything's good and then okay. Tighten that down nice and snug. Quarter turn past tight. And we'll spin this real good and make sure nothing's rubbing. That's perfect. So it looks like we didn't need to replace our motor. It was just the squirrel cage. And this is set up for a clockwise rotation, which is what it is. Okay. So now it's going to be replacing our top plate.
offset lines. And once again, give it a good spin. Make sure everything's nice and balanced. Sweet. Once that's done, we're ready for the install. Got to dig the whole thing and put it all back in place. Okay, one more thing is since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and place this capacitor. It's the only thing that's looking a little tired on here. So. Of course, I've already discharged and leads. I'm going to go ahead and slip those leads off. And we'll reuse the cap for the cap. And ready to reinstall. Okay, so before I get too far, I'm going to want to strip these wire leads off. Using the wire strippers, and that way we don't nick the wire, lose any strands. Okay, now back at our blower handler, we're going to need to strip the wires here that we cut off earlier. And then I'll just twist the wires a little bit, make them a little stronger, and we'll be ready to insert the blower. Here's the fun. To guide it past the wiring. Now you can see our cavity and all space here. We're going to be inserting this back into. So we just need to slide it up into these channels right here. Let the fun begin. Started a little. Just need to guide my wiring on the outside. There we go. Now we're ready for our screws up top that hold it in.
is. Now the second one on the other side. I was going to be redoing our wiring. Get these twisted together really well. I think that wire nut's too big there. There we go. All set there. Good to go. Okay, now we're ready for our test run. I'm gonna be standing to the side, but give you a view here. Before I do that, I'll run it without anything. Give it a spin. Make sure everything is spinning good, and it is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in again, step to the side, and then I'll just unplug it real quick. Okay, so I'm ready to put my covers back on. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting the top cover back in. And it just slides up into place here. And then we've got our set screws that go in through. Sides. And now we're ready for our door catch. Okay, now I'm ready to plug it back in and fire it up. I'm just going to run our plug up top here. One blower wheel, all fixed, all repaired. Good to go. And one thing we can do is come back and foil tape all these areas up to minimize any air infiltration spots. 